Right, I get asked quite often uh, by students about how padding works in uh, in in a, in a block cipher. So I'm going to try and explain uh, how it works uh, from a from a simple point of view. So normally what we have is we have a, a block cipher. Uh, we can also have a stream cipher and a stream cipher takes one bit at a time and then will in encrypt it. So typically in something like RC4 uh, we take our, our, our plain text stream uh, we then uh, have some sort of initialization vector and we have a key and from that we create uh, an, an infinite an infinitely long key that we apply to our stream and typically with an exclusive or uh, operation but most of the ciphers that we actually use use block uh, in, in encryption so a typical block size is 128 bits and if we look at that 128 bits uh, make up uh, 16 8 bit uh, characters okay so if we're using ASCII characters then we're going to take 16 characters and fill one block okay so here is our block so let's say we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and let's start at zero here okay so this is one one block uh, of of our cipher so what we'll do is that we'll take each block one at a time if we use electronic codebook we apply the key and then our cipher block comes out of each block but if we use cipher block chaining then we'll take the output from one block and feed it into the next block uh, and, and and so on okay so so we have we have our block so in this case we have 16 uh, different uh, characters or, or bytes we typically look at a byte array when we're dealing with ciphers so the, w the way that it, that it works is that we'll take our text such as hello and it doesn't quite fit into the block so we're going to process the block then we're going to send it over as a cipher text and at the other end we're going to unblock we're going to uncipher it uh, and then we need to understand which of the spaces are actually missing so the way we typically do it is what with what's called uh, CMS which is a cryptographic message syntax which is defined as a standard so with this what we do is we fill uh, the bytes with a with a padding and the padding depends on the number of uh, sp of the number of uh, bytes which do not have any any content in them and we use the same value for each of these so in this case we have uh, hello so this is a 68 65 and then for an L we have 6C, 6C, and then an O is a 6F. Okay, so that's the hex values of each of our characters. We then count the number of uh, bytes that that are empty: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in hex A is 10 and B is 11. So we have 11. So what we do is we fill this with 0B, 0B and so on up to here. So we encrypt that and then on the other side what we do is we, when we unencrypt it we will uh, read along until we get to here and we can actually see that we have uh, our padding bytes added to it. If we now add another character on and fill one more space, <coughs> so in this case 
that's a 6f. This time we only have 10, so we're going to fill it with 0a and, and so on. So in this way we can actually fill up our, our padding area uh, with, with the volume. So this will go on as we fill up until we get, if we keep filling with O, right up to here. And then with 15 characters, the last padding byte will be 0, 01. Okay, so with 15, 15 characters used out of the 16, then the 16th character, or the 16th byte, I should say, will be a 0, 01. If we now fill up exactly that last space, see with a with an O, then we start to overflow into the next block, and it's the one problem with uh, ciphers <coughs> is that we can actually tell the length of the message, because as we fill up the first block, it will be a certain size. It'll be the the sixteen sixteen bytes there. And then once we get to the to the seventeenth, uh, sorry, once we get to sixteen bytes, then we actually start to overflow into the into the next uh, one. So if that happens, if we have sixteen characters there, then the next block actually becomes one zero, and one zero in hex is. Um, is 16. Okay, 16 <laughs> because we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Uh, each character is 4 bits. So 1, 0 is actually 16. So the next block becomes 16 and then the padding overflows into the next block so that the second block will have uh, that. If we now have 17 characters, such as we fill with an O here, then we'll have one less than that, which will be 15. So that becomes 0F, 0F, and so on. Okay, so we keep filling up until we get to 16, then it overflows. Once we get to 16 here, it will then overflow. So an intruder can actually determine the actual length of the of the plain text by observing the length of the, the stream. Okay, so let's try the example here. So there's the first example that, that we had. Uh, and we can see here, we use 0b. If we add another 0 onto it, then we can see the, the padding goes down to uh, 0a, which is 10. 10, uh, 10 padding characters, and that's us down to 4. Uh, so this is us now at 15 characters, and we see the last padding as a 0, 1. And so if we now go to another 0, what should happen, hopefully, is that it'll overflow into the next one, and we have 16 padding, padding bytes. Okay, we had another one on, and then we should see this one going to into 0f, as it does there. Okay, so the intruder could see uh, the uh, the message coming through uh, with size. The problem that we have with uh, electronic code book, if we just put in lots of these here, The problem that we have with the electronic codebook is that it actually uh, will repeat as we as we process it from there. So let's have a look at that. So there we go. There. So there's one block, and that block repeats. So there we go there, and we have our second block which ends at CC, and so on. So you can actually see 
that something like electronic code book we can actually see repeated patterns coming out so we would obviously use something like cipher block chaining to make sure that each of the blocks were different even though the content was coming in as the same okay so hopefully that's explained uh, CMS and and the concept of padding for ciphers